brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. He's calling it at worst an act of intentional deception. I just wanted to express my dismay that um, at the budget hearing that she was as evasive as she was. I expected so much more from an attorney general than to parse words. In a scathing four-page letter sent to the AG on Monday, Speaker B.J. Cruz accused Attorney General of Guam Elizabeth Barrett Anderson of breaking the law by providing incentive or bonus paid to an employee of her office that was not entitled to it. I think she has realized that it was an illegal act because I also got an email yesterday after I sent the letter to the AG from the employee stating that um, she was making him repay the amount that had been received and I don't think you would be asked to repay if it was if you thought that it was legal she probably has obviously recognized that uh, what she did was wrong and now the employees having to pay it back and it was was complaining about the fact that it was affecting his ability to be, be able to make mortgage payments but I wasn't the one that did it it was the Attorney General in the letter, Cruz accuses her of unethically writing an opinion justifying the adjustment of a general accounting supervisor at her office, stating, quote, to circumvent this clear statutory reality, you issued a legal opinion worthy of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. The issue about the bonus pay was the subject of a recent budget oversight hearing with the AG's office. She knew that I was concerned about these, these certifications. Uh, she could have just very straight up said, yes, I've implemented it and but I've not implemented the, the uh, amendment, whatever, just, just be honest. Speaker Cruz accused the Attorney General of having a record of failure, silence and exploitation. He cited three main reasons. First, allowing the statute of limitations to expire to select a special prosecutor to investigate the governor for his illegal issuance of retroactive bonus pay to his employees in 2014. Second, remaining silent when government officials took money from the Child Support Enforcement Fund. And lastly, willfully exploiting her office to benefit her employees and then deceiving the legislature to do so. Reporting for Guam's News Network, Guahusinic Delgado. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.